everyone this is mainak from civil center uh, i'm starting this video with the hope that wherever you are you stay safe uh, with your friends and family and uh, best wishes with you so we'll start today's model and we'll try to make a structure steel structure uh, which is in the shape of a tower so that you can get an idea how towers uh, are made in uh, this uh, tecla textile designer so first of all we'll go to the uh, model as well with and we'll make some construction levels uh, foundation level let's take as minus 1 this time and uh, this is the plinth level which you're going to have and it will insert some levels above we can go with the top of steel here and uh, this spacing of this particular uh, floor which we are having can give a spacing of 3 meters or let's say uh, 4 meters we'll take and uh, we'll go with uh, this level in this level we are going to make uh, 4 by 4 this level we're going to make 3 by 3 and then 2 by 2 and then 1 by 1 so like this we are going to take so in the plinth level we are going to make a rectangular wizard and uh, we are going to take the rectangular wizard and we are going to make one count and uh, 4 by 4 and then uh, just click on next this also count 1 4 by 4 and the next and the next finish so after this is done I will just uh, go to the parallel quake option and uh, since we want uh, uh, this parallel quake in the next level just go in the structure 1 just to relate and then select this parallel quick option so we want 3 by 3 grid here so we'll take an offset of uh, 0.5 so that we can arrive that 3 by 3 so just press f2 uh, 0.0.5 uh, 0, uh, 0 enter enter and then press escape escape and select this f2 0.5 enter escape escape select this and then f2 0.5 enter escape escape uh, select this f2 0.5 uh, enter double escape and after this we can go to the next level and in the next level also you can select this uh, select this once again parallel quick this will be our 0.5 enter double escape select this 0.5 enter double escape select this 0.5 enter double escape this last one and we are done here the last one structure 3 and we will go with this parallel quick select 0 0.5 enter same process we will repeat we are having more two sides enter double escape and the last one goes here So like this we have created uh, some grids here so we'll just go to the structure uh, base and we'll just create uh, start creating the columns first and then we'll uh, just create so first of all we'll go just to select the columns here and columns uh, we want here uh, the kind of section which you want we'll just select here uh, we want circular hollow sections which will operate will operate with circular hollow sections so we'll go with 300 h2 and uh, we'll have a column here and here here and here we'll check, check in 3d view all the columns which we are having like this and now we'll go to the next level that is the uh, structure topmost level we'll go to the next level let's see this one or first of all, let's start with the base. I'll go the beams and the circular beams we are taking. So we'll select the section of the beams here. Uh, I'll go for the circular sections, circular hollow sections, and we'll go with 200 H1 and just make the beams here. 
check in the structure 3D this level of beams have been done and then uh, you can check to the next level and in the next level you will just select the beams here and uh, here if you just take the beams and then you will just take the section here already taken so we will draw the section of the beams here so like this we have done and like this you can do you see the results in the structure 3d as you can see the beams have been bent like this so like this we can we can uh, bend uh, the beams so we are going to back to the structure one not the beam sorry we are just uh, bending the columns like this so that we can create this type of structure now we can change the structure 3d so it has been bent like this so uh, if you just go to the next level structure 2 uh, here so yeah so, so it's important that you do it do it in the last step uh, so if you go into structure 2 and you create some beams here and uh, just creating beams here here and from sorry it will not be in here it will be uh, one uh, living uh, one place so if we just start from here leave one from here and leave one from here here and leave one from here here one now it's easy structure 3d so now you can extend this up to here so like this you have done and for the next level and for the last level you can also do beams already selected this type and uh, you can leave one or two from here and this from this side also one two this So one and two from this side it will be the third one and here we'll just I think we have mixed missed one so it will be f2 0 0.5 now it's good beam and kind of beam selected just skip two and start from here we'll skip two from the top as well one and two from here from here also we'll skip to one and two will skip here so it will be here and obviously it will be one and one and two will skip here so it will start from here and it's easy now now for the last part we'll just select this join it here select this join it here this join it here and select this and join it here so like this you can do and you can validate the model validation is uh, okay uh, now if you want you can just go to any level like if you want uh, to go to the uh, this level suppose sector 2 and you can have you can have uh, beams here edit you can just uh, uh, you can have create infills and by number let's go with uh, three infills infill beams and uh, you want a little bit lower section than this you go with uh, 50m 
like this you are having 50 m I'm going to change the structure 3d also so left lie this infill beams uh, all everywhere so in structure 2 infills this 3 and uh, 50l is selected I think uh, yeah this and 1 here we'll uh, just increase the number let's go with 5 like this and in the base finally create infills go with let's say 8 and go the structure 3d so like this you can uh, just create this this type of structure and if you want you can also put some bracings also just select x brace X brace, let's see X brace works here. So X brace uh, won't work here because it is curved uh, one. You can just select uh, this normal brace, and you can also select the section of the brace here. CHS hollow, it's very good with this, like this. So like this we are joining this pretty easy so like this you can pretty much model this uh, transmission tower you can validate the model whether you've done any uh, errors or not you can put the suitable loads as per the country codes so uh, if you want plug and can only just for the checking purpose only design it by gravity loads and uh, then check uh, whether uh, how it's going just uh, design some combination as for the gravity loads just for checking I'm going to design then design all static so as you can see when you design it the sections which are coming uh, since we have only applied the gravity loads the section has uh, automatically been designed here and if you want you can also take out the raised uh, you know the results here and go to this particular option of report and uh, you will have this option of uh, uh, let's say this material listing we want to show and then show report and then you can just uh, um, report uh, in the MS Excel and uh, you can then find out this particular uh, type grade of steel and length and the mass of say, uh, steel which have, which have been used in this particular project so you can find the, all this data out and you can also uh, generate the drawings so like this uh, you can uh, work on it and uh, so that's all for today's video hope you have learned something new in today's video and Keep practicing, keep learning. Civil Center is here to guide. Bye-bye. Have a good day.